Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today, it is not the Sarah Chronicles. Guess who's here? I'm back, bitches. <laughs> Mason has returned. So you've had a lot of this face over the past couple of weeks. I've just been doing some stuff on my own whilst the husband works. So today, guys, we're going to do another cook with me. We're going to do a recipe that we've never done before. So today, my friends, we are doing lamb and halloumi meatballs. Now, we love a ball. Love a meaty ball. Love a saucy ball. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna try this this is from the book two chubby cubs that's like us wow thanks <laughs> um it's not necessarily a slimming world book but it's slimming recipes as you can see and most of it is under 500 calories 399 calories each serves four no it won't it will just serve the two of us because Even that picture doesn't convince me it serves four because <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> That serves one and a half. But even if we did have two portions, that is still only, what, 700 calories? Yeah, that's not too bad, is it? It's not bad for a main meal. We're going to get cooking this, so we're going to start with our ingredients. So I need to make the balls first. The lamb mince and the halloumi, I need to cut this up into cubes. Get the mince all sorted. Oh, and then some oreganos to make the balls. And then we're going to make the sauce. So we're going to get on, and we're going to start fashioning some balls. Right, so that's 125 grams of a loomy cut. Now I've got to do two teaspoons of oregano and then I'm going to have to get my hands in. So that's two teaspoons. Get up in there. Oh, I ha oh, oh. Get up in that meat. Now you don't want to overwork it, but you just want to get it so it's nicely combined. Oh, meat and cheese. Meat and cheese. I love that meat and cheese. Literally the best combination. We've really got into our halloumi, haven't we, yeah. recently? Squeaky cheese. So it says to just combine so much cheese. I have done it at the right quantity. It's just going to be lo really gooey, isn't it? We like a gooey ball. <laughs> <laughs> we got any more balls, like related <laughs> quotes and stuff that we're going to go with? It's just going to be just quoting. Give me a cheesy ball. <laughs> See, this is not combining to me, which is weird. It doesn't say to put an egg in it or anything like that. Hmm, I don't know. Right, we'll try and form some balls out of this now then. Now my style of cooking, I just make it up, so I'm finding it really hard to stick to a recipe. I forgot to put paprika in. It just says paprika, but I'm going to use the sweet one. One teaspoon. I'm just going to eyeball it. <laughs> uh, yeah, about right. Maybe a bit much, but we like paprika. So mix this in now. Right, so it says to oil a baking tin, but what I'm going to do, I've just put some grease proof paper in there and stuck it down so I know that they're not going to stick. So they're now saying to do 24 meatballs. I don't think we're going to get 24 out of those. We don't need 12 meatballs each, do we? So just make them into a ball. I think I can do that shape. Oh yeah. That size? Yeah, that's fine. Just plopping them onto that Grease proof. Not doing them too small. In fact, they are combining really well without without an egg. Oh no, that's too big. Oh. I'll have the big one. <laughs> <laughs> My balls are too I'll, big. I'll have the big ball. <laughs> So they're all done. They're not very uniformed. And I'm a bit scared they're going to come apart with all that cheese in there. They're going to be baked. They're not going to be fried. So I've preheated the oven to gas mark 7, which is 200 degrees in new money. Uh, new so money. So that's preheating. They're all sorted. So I'm just going to get the ingredients on now for the tomato sauce that it's going to mm. go in. So it's going to be one onion. Well, that's nearly one onion. I literally had the littlest bit off there. Only on. This wasn't in the yeah. recipe, but we're absolutely loving these at the moment. They're from Aldi. I think they're about £1.20, which is good for antipasti. And it's these sweet char grilled peppers in the most gorgeous oil. And then another one that's not in there, but... You can never say no to terizzo. That is a main staple in our house, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. More of that goes in my mouth before it goes in the frying pan. Oh, dear. 
So I'm gonna get to chopping the onion, guys. Preheated, as I said, I think it was gas mark seven, 200 degrees. So these little babies are gonna go in for 20 minutes whilst we get the sauce on. So we'll put these in now. Bye bye balls. Bye balls. Right, so we're gonna get to doing the sauce now. It said to put a little bit of oil in. So I'm gonna mix, because there's so much of this really nice oil in the char grilled peppers. Just a little touch of that. And then some garlic infused oil as well, if I can. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Oh no! <laughs> Got to pull it open. Hey! <laughs> Celebrating with oil. So just a little drop of that as well. Just get it really nice and flavourful. Get the flame on. Flame on! So that is all nice and heated up. So the first thing we're going to go in with is the onions. And they say to just fry until they're translucent, so no colour on them. Good trick as well, my mum taught it me, bear with me. <laughs> bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. Uh, to stop your onions colouring too much, you add a bit of salt. I don't know what it does, I can't remember what mum told me, but that is a Judith Southam trick. Put a bit of salt in your onions and they don't colour too quickly. That's where I get my love of cooking from. In fact, my dad's quite a good cook as well. So these are going translucent now. Um, I have got a couple of extra ingredients, as I said before, from the recipe. So now what I'm going to do is add my chorizo, which is not in the recipe, but all about that chorizo life. I'm going to get that heated through and that will start releasing its paprika oils in there and mix all in with that onion. So we'll just get that heated up now, guys. Chorizo's half cooked. It's already cooked anyway. So that's released all its oils and sent everything really nice orange colour. So now, again, this wasn't in the recipe, but we just love these little sweet peppers. They don't need much cooking. Just a, a warm through. As well as those peppers, we're gonna put some garlic in. Now I'm lazy, so I got the very lazy chopped garlic. Now we like it garlicky, so we are going in with one heat teaspoon. Now you don't wanna put your garlic in first because it'll burn and it'll go really bitter. Just wanna gently heat that garlic up. So it's a really nice colour, quite Mediterranean colour. So as I said, you don't need to cook the garlic too much because it will go bitter. Book says just to chuck the rest of the ingredients in, so that's what I'm going to do. So 400 grams, so a tin of chopped toms, 150 mils of chicken stock. Turn that heat down a bit. Two tablespoons of tomato puree, I'm just eyeballing it. You pretty much know it by now, don't you, really? What two <laughs> tablespoons consists of. Right, so we'll just give that a little stir. Get incorporated. It's going to be quite a nice chunky tomato sauce for the meatballs to go in. Chunky sauce for my meaty balls. Yay! <laughs> ah, I need to put in some more paprika and some mixed herbs. Might even as well, even though it's not in the recipe, but my mum always does it. Put a little bit of sugar in there because of all the tomato. 
just takes the bitterness out of it. Set a tablespoon. I'm eyeballing it again. Paprika. Again, eyeballing it. Bit of salt. Bit of pepper. And then a little bit of sugar. In fact, I'm just gonna eyeball that as well. Well, this is sweetener, so I'm only putting a little bit in. Sweetener's a lot stronger than sugar. So that's thickened up a bit, so it's now time to add the balls. Ooh. Get them balls. Ooh. They smell well nice. Oh, <laughs> look at them look, balls. They're not looking attractive. So now we've got to add it to the sauce to do the last little bit of cooking. Hopefully they haven't stuck. Just a little bit they've stuck. I thought they weren't going to. Maybe it's because of the cheese in there. Oh, ho, 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 guys. Smells really good, doesn't it? Mm. Look at that bit of like crispy cheese there. Oh. The fat. Yes. <laughs> yes, girl. <laughs> Yes, queen! We love ourselves a juicy dripping ball. <laughs> Good. Glad I married you. <laughs> Gonna plonk them in into that sauce. Oh, look at this little one. That was the first one. <laughs> Bloop. Yeah, they haven't actually stuck. It was just one that had stuck. There's always a stubborn one. Always a stubborn one. Is that mine, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you get quite a lot, really, for one packet of mints and half a little block of halloumi. And then just basic store cupboard stuff. Your onion, your garlic, tomato. We just had a bit of chorizo and a bit of pepper, so we added that in. And then just some mixed herbs. That's all it is. We're just going to let that blip really low for about 10 minutes. So that will be perfect time now to get our garlic bread and spaghetti on. had to do was put the balls into the sauce <laughs> balls in the sauce saucy balls and let that blip away cook your spaghetti we just got some whole wheat spaghetti that was just in the cupboard garlic bread is done all cut up cheese is grated so we're just going to plate up these bad boys done and we're done once again you can tell whose is whose well, because I've got a little bit of mayonnaise in there. You are, and the fact that you haven't finished it. I tried. My, my, mine's pretty much, I've licked that plate clean. I, um, I had too many balls. <laughs> <laughs> I put too many balls on uh, it. Well, you want one more ball joke for the road. And we have got some leftovers. Balls in a pot. For a cheap meal, I mean, the lamb was, I don't know, about three fifty, And then just everything else is store cupboard stuff. Halloumi's cheap as well. That's a really cheap meal. It was so nice, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was like one of the best. Really, really nice. The sauce tasted like it had been cooking for ages. And it was only cooking for about 20 minutes. So two chubby cups, thumbs up. Yeah, really, really nice. So we have got some more videos coming out um, to do with cooking. That was the lamb and halloumi meatballs. That's it. That's right. it. That's all the ball jokes, Okay, though. right. Well, then like, subscribe. See probably both of us in the next video. Yeah, we're going to keep the cooking chronicles. Okay. <laughs> See you in the next video, guys. Take care, guys.